Hi everyone. So uh, after we had that massive, massive lunch at Soy, uh, we actually were really, really full for like the entire day. Uh, Swen ended up passing out and sleeping for hours. I was just busy editing the videos and stuff, so we didn't feel hungry. But then we got up and like around eight something. Um, she said she still really wants pad thai because she hasn't had any pad thai today. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. That's one of your exact words. No, I didn't I want to go out. I haven't had any pad thais. Even though you're like, I just, it's too lazy to go out, you still wanted pad thai. So I'm like, okay. So I read on this site that the, I said the, one of the hottest places in Bangkok to get pad thai is called, this place called Tipsamai, and they only do pad thai. Um, you can see that in the video in a little bit that uh, this is, like, do you remember when we were in uh, Vietnam having uh, pho and the, called the lineup pho? Well, this is the Thai cousin of lineup full because this is lineup pad thai. The lineup is super, super long, and they open at five o'clock, um, and it's like ram right from the start. And it I, apparently it stays like ram like this all the way until like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock at night. So it's very crazy. So we're gonna see how good their pad thai is. Um, and a funny thing is, right next door to Tipsamai is another place that also makes pad thai. Uh, and it's about uh, a little bit more than half the price of what Tips of My is. So we're going to check out that as well as we also grab one of those portions. So we're going to compare the two. So this is what it looks like. Uh, if you uh, take a look, Tips of My looks, uh, has much more uh, fancy packaging. Uh, for uh, At least for my portion anyways. Cause I got, Only because you got the shrimp. Yeah, I got the big <clears throat> huge one. So if you look... I got the one with the big, they have the one with the regular shrimp as well, but I went with the one with the giant massive shrimp. So it's pad thai wrapped in egg and two huge shrimps, which sounds very shrimpy and Swan's going to probably complain in a second. Uh, all their presentation, you got to admit, very, very, you know, well done. Even their seasoning comes in a package. Look at that. So inside, there's uh, sugar, uh, peppers and a bag of peanuts. I like peanuts. Oh, oh, you oh. Smell, smell the shrimp. <laughs> it's like dried shrimp. Oh man, that smells. So I love peanuts. So I'm gonna add that onto mine. All right. So just one, just in case you guys are wondering why we're eating in our room, it's because the lineup was so ridiculously long. It's probably a two hour wait. So we decided to take out and take out was five minutes. Yeah. So oh. I, they, what they do is they make giant, giant batches of it. <clears throat> so there's, a, uh, it's like an assembly line. If you get to see it, uh, I'll put the video later and you can probably see it. But they have like one person making one type of noodle and one person make another type of pad thai. One person will do only the egg wrap. One person will do only the plating. So it's, it's very systematic uh, over there for them. So that's oh. they were able to go through it pretty, pretty quick. Um, so let me add the spice here. Oh my here. goodness, why does that shrimp smell like? dried squid or something <laughs> it's just oh, really it's really so very terrible. shrimpy um i don't like sugar with my pad thai i like my foods uh, savory as you know uh, um, the, so the, the difference that we saw that tips of my gives um uh like onions um bean sprouts these are all fresh the other place also gives uh, banana blossom which i've never eaten raw like this without uh, putting it in like a soup before so uh, it's gonna be kind of strange for me, but we'll give it a shot. So let's see what this. Oh, this this one actually because of the big shrimp costs 200 baht. The one that Swan got, which is the not one with not shrimp. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. I think it's the uh, right, typical their uh, their basic pad thai. That one only costs 86. So basically half price of this one. And the one next door costs six. No, 50. So. Can you just please Let's eat see. it and close the lid? Oh man, it stinks. <laughs> oh. So. Let's see. Put it down, babe. And then, yeah. Mm, smells really good. Ugh. She doesn't like it, but I love it. It smells awesome. <coughs> Let's get a big bite here. Okay, now close the lid. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. Oh yeah. yeah the flavor is excellent. Huge it's spicy. 
sweet, oh, salty, everything you want. It's and, actually, it's really, really good. And stinky. I forgot that part. And they cook it in um, shrimp oil as well, so it has an extra, extra shrimp flavor. Yeah, I highly recommend this. I don't know how much better it is, if it is better at all than the other ones, but for me, this is probably the best pad thai I've had uh, anywhere, to be honest. So let's take a look at the other one and see if we can compare the two. Hey, oh my gosh, it really stinks. It stinks so much. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Okay, She's, so by my, stink, she means the shrimp. No, yeah. Not stinky, as in not it's not in, smell yeah. good. Um, I got a pad thai as well. And it's wrapped in a bag because I didn't pay the 200 baht premium. So they wrapped it in a piece of paper kind of thing. And you see all the grease, all that oil. Oh, man. It doesn't um, look, it looks different actually than the one that I have. This one is not uh, pink uh, like the other one. I wanted the pinkish color one, uh, but they said that it's a half an hour wait to get it. So I said, forget it. So I'm just, I just got the basic. This is what they call the basic um, pad thai. So I'm going to assume the basic pad thai is just a stir fry noodle. There's no pad thai sauce, no tamarind kind of looking thing. That's why it's more like a pale color pad thai. Anyways, oh, mine's all cold now. It's so sticky. Okay, I'm just trying to break this up now. Just give me a moment here. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. I need a spoon. Oh, wait. I have a spoon. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Got a spoon from uh, a restaurant we ate the other day. Just cup up this. So with my portion, they also gave the bean sprouts, the chive. I don't know if I want to add the bean sprouts. Maybe I'll take a bite of the chive on its own. Here's some lime. A lime. Let's mm. a little bit of lime on. Is that chives or onions? I think it's onions. No, it's chives. Is it? It's chives. Okay. Here's that. Oh man, this room is gonna... I don't know if we can sleep in here tonight. <laughs> I'll be fine. Asia needs to invest in a microwave in their hotel room. So I can heat this up. Basic pad thai noodle. The noodle got cold so it's like a big clump. So I don't know. Yep. Stir-fry noodle. It's good. It's good for a stir-fry noodle. It's not a pad thai, but it's still very good. It's very flavorful. Well, I mean, it's not a pad thai as you are used to or accustomed to. No, no, to. no. Well, they said this is a basic pad thai, but really, pad thai to me has that tamarind sauce that goes in it, but this is just stir-fry uh, with probably a little bit of soy sauce, but it's actually very good. I think if the lineup wasn't so bad, it would have been better at the restaurant eating it because now it's a little cold, it's a little clumpy. But other than that, the flavor is very good. I enjoy it. Mm. Mm. I'm going to add my chili because it needs that. I feel like I'm stir frying my own pad thai right now. I think the thing with this is they stir fry the noodles separately and then all the, the eggs and the tofu and the toppings separate and they just plop it on top. So it's not nicely mixed. So now I have to do that myself. I think that's going to be always the problem with takeout. It's never going to be as good as the eating it hot in the restaurant. Yeah. Anyways. So I'm just going to eat this before I move on to the next Pad Thai dish that we bought. Mm. 
Okay, this is the Pad Thai from the restaurant literally next door that had no lineup. I think they get all of the overflow uh, impatient customers from the uh, Tip Samai. Like us. Yeah. Again, I did not order anything fancy with prawn and stuff, so they wrapped it in a piece of paper. Same thing, packaged with uh, sugar, chili flakes, mm. and peanuts. Looks like it's even from the same people. It looks I like, think so. It looks exactly the same as the other ones. <laughs> yeah, they just buy it. This one is still warm. Well, this one we bought after. Yeah. It was made fresh. Yeah. It looks very similar to the one that you yeah. uh, opened from Tips of My. It's still, yeah, it's very similar. So I'm going to break this apart. And they do the same thing. They make the noodles and then they, the other, like the fried yeah, uh, bean sprout and onions and stuff, they, they put it on top after. Yeah. The problem with Pad Thai is that if, if you let the noodles cool, it becomes one giant pack and it's all clumped together. So it's kind of a pain to, to break it up. This one has a little bit more of a yellow, uh, orangey color than the other one, but again, it's not what I'm used to in Toronto. I saw the the lady put the the sauce in there. Did she, she didn't put a lot though. No, she didn't put a lot. So this one here, like Juan said earlier, it comes with the chive and the um, bean sprouts, but they also come with this banana blossom. I've seen people eat this before, and they just peel off like the, the the leaves one at a time. Yeah, and then they just eat it. I don't know. It, it's supposed to have like some sort of like a chalky uh, texture. Oh. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like it raw because it has that um um what's that? Tastes like chalk. Jack? No, Jack. What's Jack mean? In English. Mm. Oh. Um, it's not. Tart. It's like a bitterness. Like a bitter tarty. Okay. No. I don't like it. Not, yeah, not by itself, not raw like that. But anyways. So here goes my second pad thai. By the way, I didn't finish the first one yet, so don't think that I'm eating all of this in that half hour. Okay. Mmm, this is sweet. This has a sweet taste to it. Again, it's just stir-fried noodles, not really a pad thai dish that I'm used to. Has a sweet um, taste, so I think I prefer the other one more. Is it worth uh, 40 more baht? I don't know, was it that much more? No, it's 86 to 50. Is it? So 36 more. I didn't think it was 86, but anyway. Uh, it is worth a little more to pay the premium amount, um, premium price for the other one. Um, but I don't know if it's worth me lining up for two hours to get the pad thai, to be honest. Maybe Huang with the big shrimp and all that stuff, but this is just another stir-fry noodle dish. So I'm probably going to just douse it with the chili flakes and hopefully add some spice to it. Cheers. So we just finished eating the three orders of pad thai that we got. Um, final verdict? I absolutely love my pad thai. It, the flavor was just intense. It was <laughs> delicious. Um, it's everything you want in uh, in a dish. I don't even like pad thai. I never ever get pad thai. Um, it's just it's her dish. But I have to admit, this is pretty good. Probably one of the best, if not the best, pad thai really I've fun. ever had. Yeah, it's really good, especially with the, mm -hmm. the 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 fresh ocean like giant ocean shrimps on there. It's just absolutely delicious. Uh, is it worth 200 bats? Mm. I don't know. Um, How much is 200 bat? 200 bats is eight bucks. Eight well, I mean, yeah. if you break if you break it down into into those numbers, then yeah, it's definitely worth eight dollars. Not bad. Um, for a local economy, I don't know. Yeah, um, it's a little bit much. The mm. and it's only only 200 baht because I got the giant shrimp. If not, it's only 95. Uh, if you want to just get regular shrimp, so. Yeah. In that sense, I think yeah, mm -hmm. the dish for sure is worth it, uh, monetarily speaking. Time-wise, I don't know if I wait one or two hours to get it. Especially considering the, the portion, it's only about four or five bites, to be honest, of my bites. Four and I, bites. Yeah, and I don't eat small portions, so I would have to get like two or three of these to satiate myself. Um, 
I don't know. I I I, I think I still get it again. Yeah. What about your dish? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't pad thai that I had. It was more like a stir fry noodle dish. But the good thing is, Huang said earlier it was eighty something. It's not eighty something. I'm bad for my dish. Mine was only sixty. However, the guy only charged me forty. I think because he gave me twenty baht extra. I think he gave her the wrong change. Yeah. So it worked out to be only forty baht for the first dish. Um, but that dish was actually 60 baht. Not bad. She's like ripping off people from third world I'm countries. I'm not. They, I can't help it. They can't change Add. probably. But the <laughs> second dish, uh, the second pad thai, that was 50 baht. I don't think that was worth it because it was a little bit sweeter than I prefer. Uh, so that dish turned out to be actually more expensive than the better dish. Um, but I'm still on... The lookout for real pad thai because so far I've, I think I've only had um, stir fried noodles. If you want real pad thai, you gotta eat pad thai that's made with shrimp because they only make shrimp pad thai. They don't even do chicken pad thai. There's no nowhere we've oh gone that has chicken pad thai. That is not a that's pad not thai a dish, <laughs> dish from Thailand. So they all use dry <laughs> shrimp or shrimp oil or yeah. fresh shrimp or some form mm -hmm. of shrimp in the pad thai. And that's part of their dish. So if you can eat seafood and can tolerate seafood or love seafood, I recommend this dish highly. So, so yeah, after eating all that, I had to pop another Benadryl just in case. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna hit the sacks. That's been uh, not a long day of eating, but still a lot of food. A lot of eating. We gotta get up early tomorrow, do a laundry for our final day here in Thailand, and hit up the temples and see what else we can find before we head off to Taiwan. So we gotta say goodnight, and until. We eat again, I guess. And steal Mikey Chen's line. Don't steal his line. Good night. See you on the streets.